You know, sometimes people have problems in their marriages. It, it happens, unfortunately, and, and I wish it, it wouldn't happen, but it, it just, things get people to grow apart. Well, some people feel that they need to step out on the marriage for, for a lot of reasons. Case in point, this particular couple is going to be at a car dealership and the wife finds out something on her cr husband's credit report and she just went plumb off. Let's go ahead and review it. When I read the comments, you know, from the guy that actually posted the video, the guy works at a, you know, car dealership and they said they actually see this happen a lot with people. Sometimes they run the credit report and you get a secret car for your side chick and think your wife will not find out about it. Now he kept saying that he hadn't touched her in months and all of that. Now I, I will say this. I think it's a very dangerous thing to either weaponize, um, or, or, or refusing to uh, sleep with your husband or just whatever the case, you don't want to do that because that's usually going to lead into something else because you know how men are. I'm not saying a man got to do something every freaking day, but come on. I mean, fix your problems, whatever they may be. Now do I support stepping out of your relationship because of the issue? No, I think that's something that should be addressed you know, between each other, find out what's the issue and the problem. And if you can't figure out what the issue and the problem is, um, try to do some counseling, do something to figure it out. Then you guys need to go your separate ways at that point. I don't think that you should just bring, you know, just going forward randoms and going so far as to putting car, in, you know, come on. Why, why are you, why are you simping like that? That is straight simping. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're going to get caught. That's why. And, and it's too much energy go into cheating, whether a, a man doing it or a woman doing it. It's too much energy and you eventually going to get sloppy because when you lying, you got to keep that lie up so perfect and you're not going to do it. And you're going to get caught slipping or somebody going to see you. Cause trust me, we live in the information age. We live in a surveillance age. Somebody's going to possibly see you somebody or that female or guy may just want to start being jealous and want to actually go out you because they think you should be with them It's all kind of ways that that husband or wife could find out if their spouse is doing something. So that's why I tell people just fix your issue and problems. Don't do that because then let's say he goes to court, right? Cause this, this is the part that, that way he going to get it. She go to court and she say, Oh, he stepped out on the marriage. He took resources from the home. He got a woman, a car. He did this and that and the third, you could bring in there. Oh, well she wasn't giving me none. So I did this and the third. The court don't want to hear nothing about she didn't give you none or you was, you know, so you went fool somebody else. No, that court going to look at it and say, no, you cheated on your wife. And because you cheated on your wife, oh, we about to get you. That's just really what it is. So it is in your best interest not to be cheating on your spouse, especially when you're going to go through a divorce because they're going to hammer you home on that. Oh, there's so much they can use against you with that. And in some states, they can take more than, you know, they say you split 50, 50 in some states, you can get up to 90% of everything. If the spouse is found to be cheating like that. So yeah, don't, that's just not a wise thing to do. Not, not at all. Fix your problems, fix your issues. If not, y'all handle it the right way, but you know, let me know what y'all think about, you know, a dude over here. I mean, yeah, I know she's upset. I, I know she is, but you know, it, it's, it's way better way to handle the issues instead of, blowing up and fighting like that in the car dealership.